It's one of the most picturesque communities in Southern California. I mean, when you think of what a beach town is supposed to look like, Laguna Beach is it. And when you drive through town on Highway 1, it's a treat because you're traveling right beside the beach and the ocean. Now, Laguna has always been known as sort of an artist colony from the very early days. In fact, years ago, back in the early 1900s, locals were putting on all sorts of pageants and plays, parades and festivals, taking advantage of the fact that they had a large arts community. And one of those pageants started back in 1933 in what used to be an undeveloped canyon. Over the years, several different and ever larger stages were built for the pageant, and today it's still going strong. In fact, it's one of the best known and most popular pageants in the country, drawing over 140,000 people during its seven-week summer run. It's called the Pageant of the Masters, and we were invited to attend one of the performances. Now, we were met at the gate and given a tour through the grounds, which themselves were filled with all kinds of interesting art, much of it by local artists. Then we were taken to the 2,600-seat outside amphitheater and given some background on what I promise you has to be one of the most fascinating and truly unique pageants you'll ever see. Laguna began um, being very famous as an art colony, and there were many artists who weren't famous at the time who now are very famous, and their paintings are being sold for very high prices these days. Anyway, these artists got together, and they had a little art festival down by the beach. And when was spot. this? Um, this began in 1932. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe the paintings weren't selling very well, so they decided what they would do is they'd have some little side attractions, some little fair or festival to attract more people to buy their artwork. And one of the crazy ideas they came up with was this pageant of the masters idea where they recreate works of art with um, real people. Now this had a name to it, didn't it? It originally was called the spirit of the masters pageant. No, but I mean the whole idea of recreating mm -hmm. uh, this tableau thing, didn't right. it go back to, to Europe? It goes back to France in the 18th century and then it was called tableau vivant, which is living tableau. And this was a very popular party game or a pastime among the aristocratic people of that time. Now, was this a hit from the beginning? Well, it's, a, it's an event that started really small, and it started with maybe about 10 people, and it was led by Roy Ropp. He kind of pulled everybody together and said, look, if we're going to make a show of this, we have to be more professional, and we have to put a lot more effort and time into it, and that's what they did, and gradually the show grew and grew to what you see here today. Because I have seen a picture of, I think maybe it was the very first show back in 1932. It was just mm -hmm. two people holding an empty frame yes. with a lady standing in the middle of the frame kind of posing there. Yes, all the paintings they did were very small. They couldn't handle the big pieces that we do today. I got you. Now, explain to me how all this works. What are we going to see tonight when we look at the stage? Well, you're going to see a whole series of posters, sculptures, paintings. You'll see paintings by Monet and Da Vinci and painters you know, but you'll also see some popular art and some pieces that will uh, surprise you. We're also doing some porcelain tonight. But they're not really paintings. Uh, they're <laughs> backgrounds, they're sets, they're painted, yes, but there will be live people standing in place of the painted ones. Yeah, because so far we have not actually seen what this is going to look like. This is all just kind of mm -hmm preliminary building up to what this pageant of the masters is all about. It's hard to describe it as an entertainment, but we do have a live narrator. We have a full live orchestra in the orchestra pit down there in front of the stage. And of course, we add to it this wonderful ambience of this outdoor amphitheater. Well, it is 7.15. The mm -hmm. show starts at? At 8.30. Because it has to be dark. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's part of it, right? Yes, we need the darkness for the lighting effects. Right. Mm -hmm. So everybody is backstage now getting into their outfits, right? Yes, they're all getting makeup on. That can, takes a while. Can we go back and, and visit By with them? By all means, because let's that, do it. that would be kind of interesting to see how that plays. Um, 
before the show actually starts. Okay. Oh, boy, there's a lot of activity back here. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. Look at this. This is all water-based makeup made specially for the pageant. Look at this little, I was going to say, look at this little boy over here. Boy, you are really... What now, what is he going to be? Well, what are you going to be, Ben? You tell him. I mean, the Chinese emperor, the last one. Here we go. I don't know if this is going to be photographed. Oh, right here. you're going to be right in the bottom, yeah, number right two. over there. Oh, boy. Is this a pretty good role for you? Yes. Now, why do you say yes with such a big grin? I, I like it very much. Mm -hmm. Tell him how many times, how many years you've been doing this. This is my third year doing this. And You're third? How old are you? Eight. So you started here when you were five. Mm-hmm. Now, are you going to stick with it? Um, I might do it for a couple more years, mm -hmm. probably like about, until I've done it, like about seven more years. Wow. So they really, now you've seen, have you seen a lot of them start off young like this and stay with it a long time? Yeah, really, I have quite a bit. Like that one over there now, he's about four. Mm -hmm. And he's just getting started, so he'll be here about four, eight years. Now, how long have you been putting on makeup about for these? six, seven years. Well, you're a newcomer. Oh, I'm, absolutely. They're, they're more veteran than I. What is the appeal of this? Oh, it's thrilling, kind of. Because when you see them like this, they don't mean a lot until you see them on stage. And it's, if you haven't seen this show, uh, it's not describable in words. You have to see it to believe it. Well, we're going to see it tonight. Oh, I hope so. And Enjoy we're going to be it. looking for you. All right. My sister's in it. My really? mom's right over Where's there. Where's your sister? Right here. You're in it. Yep. Wow, what, now who do you play? I am Le Bouquet. Well, shouldn't you be getting made up now? I'm getting to about half hour. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I and, help out down here. And where's your mom? My mom is right down there. And At the very end? In the purple shirt right here. Oh, go. gosh. I just finished talking to your two daughters. This I know. Is, this is really they a... were raised in the pageant. Jennifer was like seven. What do you mean raised saying? in the pageant? Well, I mean, we're down here every summer partaking in, in the fun. I mean, you make friends, lifetime friends. Yeah. It's really a neat, neat experience. Have you ever been in mm -hmm. it? My first year, I was in one of the Wedgwoods, which was 12 dancing girls, way up on above the uh, this actual stage in the caged area. So that was an experience. <laughs> I prefer down here. <laughs> well, you're doing a good part. job with makeup. I'll right, let you go right. back. Okay, thanks. The whole family's in it. Oh, gosh. Look at you. <laughs> this... You've really done a job on her. Thank you. <laughs> Wait till she's finished. Wow. She'll look just like that. Oh, well, let's put it up here so we can... I got you. Well, she looks pretty much like that right now. Oh, we have a long way to go. <laughs> it's a wonderful way to spend a summer. Uh, I think that my daughters and I have gained an appreciation of art we never would have had before. My youngest loves Rockwell and collects him. I found I like impressionistic art and my older daughter likes modern art. So we would never have discovered that if it hadn't been for the pageant. And every year we learn something new. We learn costuming, we learn lighting, we learn makeup, and we learn headdress. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't get that in my job. And that's kind of special, and I think everybody here gets something out of it every night. Now we're backstage with Butch Hill, who is the... Technical director. Now what does that mean? Uh, it means a lot of things, <laughs> but during the summer it means that I uh, run the stage crew around and, and make sure everything is running well on stage. Now we're getting them loaded up. Explain how this happens. Uh, well, normally they come up the stairs and the stage crew will pick them up the top of the stairs and bring them over here and carefully get them in and, and, and safety belt them in. Mm -hmm. So they are belted in here. How does that work? Can we get a look at it? Sure. It's a little clip, just like a dog leash. And they have an eye that it, it hooks Well, there's to. the hook right there. Yeah, we just want to make sure everybody's safe. They're moved around on these castered uh, platforms. So. so can we put them up there sure. and see I'm what gonna that's going to... Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh, and then you just hook him right on. Right in. This helps him hold his hand. You can drop this. And then he puts his hand out here. Uh-huh. Now, you don't blink, do you? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you're allowed you to can, blink just a allowed little. to breathe. Just a little blink, though. Yeah. Can you give us a nice pose, just like you? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. He's really good. <laughs> He's one of our best. <laughs> and you just stand just like that? Yeah. 
Let's see what you look like. Now, you're not supposed to smile. <laughs> okay, here comes the wreath. That is amazing. It was indeed an amazing sight. And after being backstage and getting an idea of how the pageant works, it was time to join the audience out front for a truly unbelievable evening of tableau art, living pictures. There it was on stage, a replica of a Charles X clock. Now look closely and remember the four female figures adorning the clock are real. And there was more, 23 different tableaus in all, each lasting only 90 seconds. Paintings like this one by Monet. Sculpture by Remington. And here's the porcelain entitled The Chinese Emperor with the children we met earlier. There were replicas of colorful posters, statues, an Art Nouveau lighting fixture, an ancient Scythian comb, each tableau totally captivating the audience. Something that you can't even put into words. We'll try. You, just, <laughs> you try to tell them, it's really people up there. They really put themselves in the costumes and the painting and everything, but you can't, it's real difficult to try to explain it. I think what impresses me the most is the fact that they're real people and you don't, uh, you don't yeah, really see the move. You realize that this art is actually coming to life and that's the whole point we of the entire We might volunteer for next year. <laughs> yeah. Do you think those early Laguna citizens who started fooling around with this idea back in the early 1930s had any idea it would grow to this and become this well-known and well-loved? I really don't think they had any idea because now we're seating 2,600 people in the bowl every night for 52 performances. And in the old days, they would go around town, they'd make little parades, they'd say, come on, come see our little pageant. And it really was just a little backyard event. And uh, you can see what it's become. Yeah. Something very special. Yes, it's special to all of us. Thank you.